Hello everyone. Today uh, we're going to discuss pro coaching tip number one. Uh, it is appropriate that this is the number one tip because this is the basis of everything else that I teach. Uh, this is love. Now, I know for a lot of us, we're going to consider love to be some sort of obscure feeling, uh, something that's really more happy-go-lucky or something that's just purely emotional. But uh, what we try to do is break love into uh, not quite quantifiable terms, but at least something that's a lot more concrete than maybe what you've expressed before. Uh, so when we talk about love, what we're really talking about is this idea, this, this uh, in every action, in, in everything, there is uh, some sort of direction that it's going, some sort of purpose, some sort of uh, place that it's going to, this is going to be especially true when it comes to human interactions. So what we're talking about when we talk about love, whether we're talking about uh, human interactions with other people or just uh, when it comes to how you feel about yourself, we're talking about the idea of giving another person or yourself the best possible thing you can give at that moment. So it it, it does change from moment to moment. You're not going to necessarily give someone a million dollars because that's the best possible thing you can give. What you're going to give is the best possible thing that you personally can give to them at that moment. You'll find that in a lot of cases, this is going to equal up to attention or compassion or empathy. And when you plug this idea of love in, you'll see uh, exactly how it works. So back to the definition. Love is going to be giving someone the best possible thing, the most valuable thing that you can give them in the moment. Uh, it's going to also mean giving them this thing without necessarily looking for something in return, not even not looking for it. It means giving them this thing without wanting or needing or desiring anything in return. It is completely selfless. Now, this may seem a little bit tough, uh, but when you see it in action, it actually is a very realistic and it's, an actu it is actually a very um, uh, natural thing to do. So um, when your son, your daughter, they come and they tell you, hey, I'm having trouble in school, uh, my grades are low. What you give them typically is compassion. Uh, you hear where they're coming from. You understand. You empathize with them. And then once you make a response to them, uh, if you imagine when they say my grades are low or I feel worried about a test coming up or something like that, you're not like, man, I can really twist this in my favor so that I can get something. That's where the idea of love is. The idea of love says what they need in that time is probably compassion. They probably need a listening ear, that sort of thing, and not a listening ear so that you can tell them how you did something for them and how they owe you something now see again it has to be selfless here's what happens though when you begin to do this what you'll find is that your relationships with everyone will change you'll find also that you're able to do more in your self-care so you'll find that a lot of the self-destructive behaviors that you have they'll they'll actually start to change the way that people, the way you relate to people will start to change. The way you relate to yourself will change. And this is all based on the, on the idea that uh, love is value. And the more you give something value, not, not value as in what it can do for you, but value in how you value it for its own sake, it changes so much. Now, I'll tell you, it's um, the world we live in, it's probably a bit of a rarity to see this. Uh, everything from our jobs to our relationships, it's a real lack of value. People are trying to devalue you so that they can get the most from you for the least. Uh, love is going to work almost the exact opposite of that. Um, it, it's uh, uh, if you're if you're a Bible reader, you'll you'll know the idea of uh, uh, of God giving His greatest love in His Son. So that's that's sort of the idea we want to we want to imitate given the best without any expectation or need for us to get. And what you'll find is it'll change your whole life. I've been doing it for quite a while. And honestly, every relationship I've had uh, is different now. 
Now, it'll take you some practice. It will it will take some getting used to. Uh, if it's a case that you run into some issues with this, reach out to me. You can reach me at my website. It's www.bethinklive.com.